the altar of incense, the object. On the west side of the holy place, against the curtain, dividing the holy chamber from the most holy place, was the final piece of furniture, another mizpah. The horns on this altar were purely ornamental. The priests never sacrificed animals upon it. Instead of the flesh of animals, this altar burned aromatic incense. Priests offered incense by placing burning coals from the bronze altar onto the incense altar. The priests would then put a mixture of four rare fragrances ground into a powder on the coals. What it taught. The perfume offering was a pleasing aroma to fill the tabernacle of the holy God of Israel. As kings and honored guests were welcomed with the unique smell of burning incense, the king of kings also savored the sweet scent of the unique mixture of perfume. The aromatic cloud symbolized Israel's prayers fired by the Spirit constantly rising before their king. Morning and evening, the fragrant fumes were kindled, representing the petitions of Israel rising boldly before God's throne. On the great day of atonement, the priests would carry coals in a censer into the most holy place along with the blood of the sacrifice. Upon entering, the priests would place incense on the coals to produce a cloud that shielded and protected him as he came into God's consuming presence. How it pointed to Christ. Although Old Testament believers prayed on their own, the altar of incense taught how God received their prayers through Christ. Recall all that happened in the tabernacle before the priest offered their prayers. First, the priest offered sacrifices on the bronze altar to justify the people. Second, the priests washed in the bronze basin to be sanctified to serve. Third, they lit the lampstand to be illuminated by the light of life. Fourth, they consumed fellowship bread, infused with God's holiness to grant them peace. They finally came, no longer seen as sinners, but rather saints, to stand confidently in prayer before their God and King. The Apostle Paul explained the significance of this tabernacle timeline when he wrote, Christ hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. Connected to all the ceremonies that preceded it, the aroma of Christ's sacrifice allows our prayers to be a sweet-smelling incense that rises to God. Lessons for today. Revelations, heavenly worship, contains golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. Because of Christ, these petitions are a beautiful aroma to God. Today, our mouths like censers breathe out the incense of prayer, which Christ our High Priest combines with His before the Father's throne. So we join the saints of old in reciting, Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. The priest would exit the tabernacle most days with the incense inflamed. However, once each year, the high priest would venture closer to God and go behind the curtain. Let's follow him.